And I'm unsure what this means. My hand is... My blood is white. Alice is alive. Um, I think everyone might be alive on this timeline, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, well, what's up, Luna? Hi. Last time I, uh, my hand got bloody. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice. Is it, is it the garden? Yep, you know this place? Oh, I... Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. We have the green door, though. I feel kind of silly saying it, but... It makes me think of the great outdoors. Mm -hmm. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. How, how serious are we talking here? We, uh, we're gonna do stuff? We gonna talk about my blood? Or what? This is this is a very important question to ask. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. That's, that's good. This is very good, Luna. Um, say why why am I here? Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? Oh, okay. Have I fixed my hand wound yet? What's up, Luna? Can I tell you something? About what? This is actually a music box. What? Yes. Ooh. Because I... I wanted you to know more about me. Aww. Maybe it's because I'm so shy. But I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. So I've sort of always been alone. Uh, this is sad. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... It hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going... That was when I got... Someone very important gave it to me. What was their name? They didn't say anything. But I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Or you're a bird trapped in a cage. Do you know Major Link's The Blue Bird? Nope. <laughs> Christmas Eve, brother and sister, and Tildal and Miltol find a blue bird by this old woman and they travel to the dream world? Catch the bird, you can make a wish come true. That's right. It's a well-known story, and it teaches a simple... Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this... I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but... That's highly probable, I guess. I really felt like that was what they meant. Interesting. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time. Like a kind of good luck charm. That's nice. But... But what? One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the... In Maeterling's original story. Yes. When Tiltil and Mittil try to feed the bird, it leaves and then the story ends. It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you lose it again. Aww. I thought about that for a while, but in the end, I don't know what they intended it, but I decided how I was going to look at it. Good. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. What? It's, it's because of the white blood, isn't it? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the... Can I ask you something? What's up? Where did you find Alice? In the crew quarters? Just answer me. Where did you find Alice? 
Where were you before that? So you went from the lounge, and then you rushed her to the infirmary. Okay, how do you know about the garden? Mm. How do I explain the multiple worlds timeline flowchart to Luna? Just now, you said you'd come here, didn't you? She caught me in my own web of lies. That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you- So tell me, how do you know about this? Um... Uh... 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 Sigma, are you... Are you a robot? See, it would make so much that would explain why you- And it would explain that cut on- Uh... Yes, I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. Uh... It makes them look almost exactly like a human, and ABT uses this... Um... Uh... Scared? Why would I be scared? Oh, well, even if you... Hmm, maybe because? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov. That... Robot cannot injure a human or allow a human to come to harm. They have strict orders protect its own existence as such, as protection does not conflict with the other laws. Yes, you're right, but I believe in them. However you're programmed, I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. How do we go from, I think you might be a robot, to, you're definitely a robot, but you can't break these laws? A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Here's the flowchart. I'm right where I ended off last time. Apparently I'm a robot. That's not you. You have a heart. Do I? You're a good person. It's in your eyes. Well, I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. Hello, troop. Welcome to the chat. Also, apparently I'm a robot. There's still a chance you're not. Why can't K be the robot? He's in the big metal suit. We should run some tests. What kind of tests? Yes. Well, the atom should... Is... is... Just me. Oh no, Fire knows I'm a robot. She's gonna hate me. Sorry, but can you guys... I need you to see some... What? Oh, there's a bomb on the tree, isn't it? This is the, the bomb timeline, right? Welcome. I just got here a little while ago. Did you? No. Were you talking about something you... Whatever. It's a bomb on the tree. Hold on. Is this the one I have a... Do I have the passcode for... Yes, I have the passcode for this one. An antimatter bomb. But I'm still missing bomb number two. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move. In fact, look at the number on... Yeah, bomb and number the one. one. And that... I've got more. Just think about the. You're saying can't be sure, but there's also a zero bomb somewhere. Yeah. Who planted them? Dio. Was it you guys? No. I mean, well, uh, I was taking a walk in the bushes. <laughs> Fine, you got me. I heard you two were off, so I got curious. Of course, you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious. And just as I snuck up from behind, then I found the bomb. Great. So, believe me now. Honestly, anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. We need to tell everyone. Dio. All right. Dio, I know you did it. Just fess up. Alright, Scrubs, listen up. There's a bomb in the garden. There's a two bomb out there oh, somewhere. This is too. bad. Yes, it is, Ten Miyoji. What are we going to do? Uh, uh 
punch Dio in the face. Well, I think... There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should... You see it right here. If we can find the password, then don't we can enter the... the input device, though. So if we have Not the in password, this timeline. We... Oh, whoa, that's great and all, but we need... Without that, we're... Yeah. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon. You heard me. Strip search. Chances are who there's also a good chance. So you're planning a Exactly. But no buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's unless you want the clear. Good. Now strip who's going search. to mm -hmm. I know who to strip search. It's Dio. There's no need for that. Huh? What? Hold on, I already did this, right? Yeah, we did this in another timeline. Blah, blah, it's Dio. Duh. Who set up the bombs? Part one. <laughs> okay, I'll give you one since I'm such a sweat. The password for bomb number two is EQD. Oh, oh. DYR. I got it. NTK. EQD. D Y R N T K two bomb. All right, we got all the bombs. Now all I need is the uh, the code for the first gate. Bomb number two. But we haven't found that one yet. Oh, oh, must have slipped my mind. Well, you don't have the really. It'll be much easier if you all. Oh gosh. Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know. Anyway, moving on. To where? What? I have to the next world, of course. Stop him! Shit! Let go of me, goddammit! Get no. off of me! Let me go! No! Hey, I'm not fucking around, alright? Let go of my god! Punch him! We don't have a choice, Luna. You think I don't know? What other choice? Every minute we spend wrestling this prick is a minute we don't have time for this. What are you doing, Luna? Go! Right. Luna, punch him. Okay, I've got it. I'm ready when you are. You can do whatever you- You're still gonna die. Go ahead. Tell yourselves you can serve you. You're gonna burn! Oh, for God's sake, Luna! Sh right, here goes. <laughs> Alright, we knocked out Dio again. <sighs> Just as expected, a small, unassuming capsule. About 20 minutes. And how much time until the... Oh, what do you know? 20 minutes. So, we searched Dio. No password device. And that is... Alright, gang, let's split up and search for clues. Alright, until those things actually... Sigma, you come with me. We're going to have to go look at the number three bomb. See if the timer really has started. All the rest of you, I want you to take Alice, Quark... What? Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario, we'll open the white doors and go... Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. I don't think we're going to get that lucky. We will take them to the floor. Once we've done so, we will begin to... Good. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. Is this the timeline where he pushed the button, or did Tenmyoji kick it out of his hand? Because I skipped the whole thing. I guess it's Tenmyoji kicking it. Bomb timer is activated! I have all four codes, but we don't have the input device. Which is really bad. Wait, if I'm a robot, do I have a built-in input device? Can I stick my finger in there, think what the password is, and then deactivate the bomb? Hmm. The light's flashing. I guess the countdown has started. Ah, balls. So, without a way to enter the pa- Right. We'll just have to split up. I'll look around. If we get to T-5 minutes, got it? Okay. 
What's with that? Don't worry, we'll figure it out. You know what they say, swimsuits never quit. That's a saying? I'm just, um, trying to show you that life is still worth living. Oh, what is this look? Hello, Fi? What? After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. Oh, shoot, we gotta survive! All right. Looks like we're on the same page. They get moving. We don't have time to stand around. Book it. Go find that thing. We need it. Swimsuit. 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 Hold on, wait. Is the control room even open in this? Why am I checking the infirmary? Is this like that, uh, the first part of this one where I have to run around finding stuff and then when I actually do find it, it's too late and then I have to re-come back and then do the thing? Yes, the others are taking- I chose to stay- I thought you might- What? Because the Adam- I thought you might- Isn't that oh, way- Oh, right. Oh, why did you come here? Really? Yes. Scan me, babe. I, to... I knew you couldn't use the atom without me, so I stayed behind. Be I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. No, no, scan me, please. Wait! I need to know if I'm a robot! Scan me anyways! Not more than... Yes. Alright, I got time. Analyze my body. What do we got? That's it. You can get up now. What does it say? How much robot am I? Well... It says you're not a robot. Then why is my blood white? You're human. <sighs> but... What? You're part machine. I'm a cyborg? Look here. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. My arms are branching paths in the flow. They're made out of a titanium alloy. I have robot arms. On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. Your arms are cybernetic. Cool! Cybernetic? It means you see all these root-like thing those are artificial nerves they're probably connected to your own nerve i imagine they allow you to oh. feel things through your arms too this is fancy yeah when did my arms get replaced wait wait did that happen in a different timeline did we cut off my arms and replace them with metal? No, unfortunately you probably- The cybernetic arms are made to function just like which means that anything injected into them- Damn it. So much for me being safe. I just- Yes, but not everything. There are some things you- Don't you know how that- How did you know about the guard? How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? Because I- Traveled through the flow of space-time to figure it out. I'm sorry, Sigma. I wish we could talk some more. That didn't take five minutes, you lied to me! Sigma, there's one lie I was given very- Please pay it. This is very- You must be sure to remember it. What? Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, the rest Remember, of the password. G T F B M L zero one six. G T F D M L zero one six. With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. First gate. Sweet. That's everything we go. need. I hope we can meet again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting.
Yeah, yeah, end credits, blah, blah, blah. Sigma end. What? Wait! I thought this was the Luna end. No, I'm confused! Why is this the me end? Okay. Um. Well. I guess a good place to do it is before I go in and do the uh, password stuff and then deactivate every bomb. Let's do this one because I've got five minutes left to live. And uh, see what happens. What? That's right, I'm dying. He hands over the medicine. Quirk is going to be all right. Made of metal. There's something. Quick, somebody cut off the my arm. The structure of the bone. Your arms are. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, achievement. <laughs> Why are my arms metal? This is important stuff. Stutter, open the number Sigma nine door. <laughs> Looks like you finally whatever. I was just a hey, don't rush me. Okay, you've got nine BP now, right? Y yes, well, want to come with? I, I punch him. I will remain here. Why? I cannot, ab but the only one we can count on, K. I understand. Great, glad we got that set. Shall we go? No, stop. Why are we telling him to run away? Are we afraid he travels through time too? He's gonna tell everyone about my robot arms? Am I gonna use my robot arms to hold the door open? The number will. It's been fun! Peace! I promise to call, please. Do not give up hope. Hope? <laughs> Bastard, the door's gonna close. Let go! Let me go! No! Joke's on you, man. I got metal hands. Hey, what the hell is this? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise. To I didn't say anything about letting you what? escape. <laughs> get wrecked, Dio. Shit! Stop screwing around. I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get. Wet, 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 wet. Sigma, stop! That's enough! Please, you have- The door's going to shut on- I don't care. <laughs> See you later, Leo. <laughs> You're an idiot. Just hurry up and die, you senile old fu- I'm going to live. <sighs> I don't need this arm. Oh, I bet all the girls behind me out about what just happened. The number Guys, I survived. has closed. I may be missing my left hand, but you know, who needs one of those? This end. Thank you. As the game escape, please enjoy your stay. Uh, wake me up inside. Call my name and save me from the dark. Where am I on the flow? There. Oh, I'm still here? Wow. Huh? Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? Yep. Where am I? The infirmary. I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out just, but I was in the AB room. That bastard K, he punched me in the stomach. What? I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting. Oh. Yes. On the other side, with Dio, you told him to go, remember? 
Is your arm okay? Nah, it's fine. I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Yo, boy. Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. How? What did I do that made you think I had robot arms? What? Stop. Oh, yeah. How I'm right here. Work? Quark, you're alive. Yep. Thanks to you, you got the medicine from that jerk deal, right? Yes, I did. Luna gave it to me, and now I'm better. Hooray. Thanks. You're the best, Mr. Sigma. Uh, you flatter me. You saved my life. Uh, yeah. Only a couple times. Of course, I did let you die like three times by now, but... It was completely the op- We're not infected. The rest of the world is. That means this place isn't a co- Well, we don't know anything if I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. We've already gone over it, but... One, if we're in a shelter for uninfected people, why is Quark here? And why is he infected? Number two, the timing of our abduction to the Potomac's outbreak is strange. We'd been rescued after the disease, that was when it happened. We'd been abducted, then the pandemic broke out. Three, we didn't know why Zero put us in a nonary game. Um, maybe someone anticipated the pandemic. How? How can you anticipate a pandemic like that? I don't know who. Probably Zero. Anyway, they then they put us- But then, after a while he got bored, so oh. he Well, we don't actually know if there is- You're the only one who's got- And when you did- no, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's tubocurarine in the bracelets. Ow! The Adam's analysis confirmed it. Oh. But what if the Adam is lying? If you're going to do that, you could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin... Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. No, my translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? Uh, I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. What? However, that someone did anticipate this pandemic. <gasps> that part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, then I Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying- We were brought here because someone knew there would be- Does that mean we're supposed to- Repopulate the planet? I like my odds in this situation, just saying. I really like my odds in this situation. Four women, an old man, and a kid? That means I'm the only young, fertile male. <laughs> I kind of like this ending. The game's over. There's no point to any of this. No, that's not. The game might be over, but in fact... So? Are those answers going to... It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving. Ever. That's all that matters. Eight? You... Yeah. Who is she, by the way? Hey, what if the old lady... Quark, what? But that would mean the person in charge of all this was mur- Maybe she wasn't murder- Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? That? Maybe she was killed somewhere else and then someone cared- Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more- Maybe we missed some- Looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Uh... Nope. You? Ten, ten Miyoji! <sighs> I'm writing this down. Pass... Equals... U-M-P-Y-D-O-L 
L L. Parentheses. June. In case I actually need to spell what the name of the doll was. Well, actually it says pass equals Jumpy doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy doll is a password of it's some sort. It's Jumpy! Beats me. Yeah. Alright, Tenmyoji, you got some stuff to answer for. Uh, Alice! Alice! Oh no! What are you planning? Oh no! She's got the scalpel, doesn't she? Yep. Jumpy's doll? Yeah, it's June! Don't worry, I put both down. Oh no, she's infected. Goodbye! No! Stop her! Ah! Oh! Well, now it's three and three. Quark end? Interesting. Let's save over. <laughs>